Hello and welcome to episode four, uh, I think episode four, of Digimon Story. My name is Ben from SwitchRPG.com and we just collected our first few Digimon or assembled them or converted them, whatever you want to say. Either way, we have some more Digimon. And now I'm guessing that we need to get that mess, that blue mess right there figured out. Oh, is she gonna fix us? We got a hacking skill. Hacking skills shine in combination with Digimon use, but are dangerous if used for unscrupulous hacking purposes. How you use your skills is up to you. You can deepen special ties with your Digimon, live with them, and grow together. Okay. And on the field. Huh. Oh, so maybe that's what will clear the firewalls out. Makes sense. And we're off. Access points. Okay. So you can swap from the real world in Eden. Cool. Okay, and they follow you around. That's cute. So... This says exit. Okay, alright. Now we're on the hunt for our avatar parts. This should be fun. Here we go. Alright, let's try a wall crack. Oh, I see now. Firewall level one. So we should be good. You know, part of me doesn't like the fact that she can just talk inside my head at any point. Or maybe he's using his digivice. I don't know if I would call this luck, though. Alright, on to our next move. I scan the area around the entrance to Cal Kowloon and mark key junk data sites. Serves as my body parts. But I, I guess. I mean, I hope not. I hope it's not as hard as that. Alright. Oh, we have three messages. Did I surprise you, but that's what did you learn? Let's try to use some... Okay, simple phrases. Got it. The Digimon on farms will be ecstatic if you respond to their messages. Alright, we'll worry about that once the time comes. Now what I'm curious about is if the Digimon here in your reserves also get experience. So I guess we'll find that out soon. What's this? Nice. 
Nice. Register to field guide. Scan data, blah, blah, blah. Digi convert. Okay. Alright, hopefully they aren't just going to completely murder my lower Pokemon. Or, Jesus, I said Pokemon. You know what I mean. In fact, I may just keep them in the reserve until they get a little bit stronger. Alright, looks like ones in the reserve also get experience. So I think that'll probably be worth it. There's an amateur part. Let's go ahead and move these. I feel like this is going to be easier. So we only have to heal our strongest Digimon. We don't have to worry about anything else. You know, I wonder if it's even bad to stay in this form. It seems... Like it has some perks. Alright, we'll get Mohawk Man here. Big damage. Eh, decent damage. Thought it'd be bigger. Oh! I'm curious about those modifiers, like that 1.5 times that it showed. I wonder if that's because I'm weak to it. Nice. Oh, goodness. Okay, so Digimon's type is shown in a mark in the upper, upper left part of the stats. This attribute is displayed by color. Okay, so red, a good affinity is showed with red, and a bad affinity is showed with blue. So I attack good. Okay. Alright. Let's see. Alright, so this should do big damage here. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Okay. Little chocobo thing right there. Um... I'm not sure. It does give you an idea. That little reticle gives you an idea of the type, but not the attribute. So, I'm not sure if any of these will be beneficial. Nope. Ooh. There we go. So I am liking the combat a little bit better now that things are opening up some. Then again, I'm only a couple hours into this, so I'm sure it's gonna it's gonna continue to get better over time. Got an avatar part. Now how close? Oh, it healed him up. Well, that's good. Saves me some time. And I just realized I haven't saved since I think the first episode. There we go. And I got a message. What do we got? Oh, okay. Oh, and let's go to this firewall here.
What a little, what a little turd. He don't, he don't even know, I mean, look how cool I look. I should be worthy of going wherever I want. <coughs> Excuse me. Should be able to just one-shot these. To the little ones. All right, let's go back over this way. Oh, part. Okay, status effects. Unfortunately, I accidentally skipped the first page. Looks pretty standard. Alright, so we're poisoned. Wonder if this persists through battles. Hopefully not. It does not. Good. Getting all the levels. Oh, more treasure. I know we've been in here before. Export. I think that's a way to leave, is it not? Hopefully it's permanent. No, it's not. But definitely handy. Alright, this should be the last one. I think, I think we're good. Oh, not much to this. Cross combo can occur when two or more allies are lined up on the timeline. Okay. So it just increases the potency. Cross combo the occurrence rates are displayed on the timeline. Bigger gauge number, the higher the rate. Okay, so that's what that is. Good to know. want to stick around and get them all to 200%. And I think that's all the avatar parts. There we go. got to go back to the agency okay so we need to go back this way I'm not gonna use that export because I, I want to get 200% on these Digimon here so we'll just hoof it 
little wandering around never hurt anybody. Oh, and I need to level up my Digimon, so... Kill two birds with one stone. Now I wonder if I can go back over to this hacker over here and get something behind here. I guess it's worth a look. Getting all kinds of health potions. I'll take all the health I can get. Okay. It was worth a shot. Encounter rate's pretty dang low. Would definitely help if it was a little bit higher. Which, of course, everything seems a little bit low. I just recently finished Dragon Quest 1 and 2. And, oh, we got a skill, Hydro Water. Okay. I'll probably throw them in my party here pretty soon. But as I was saying, I just finished Dragon Quest 2 specifically. In fact, I just finished it yesterday. And... Well, yesterday at the time of recording this, and it was... The encounter rate is ridiculous in that. So, that's kind of what I'm comparing it to. Wow, this starter... Okay. Yeah, I'll hold off on taking them out, or putting them in the party for now. Let him get a few more levels. It's not like I'm having trouble. So, I think I think we're still going to be safe. Are there no random battles on this? Jeez, that took forever. I think a lot of these are already at 200%. Again, it'd be nice if you could kind of see that somehow. Oh, I forgot they, ha they have max levels too. That's really interesting. But Bukamon, Bukamon can get to level 9. I'm sure this has to do with, like, evolution or whatever. We'll have to see how that works. You know what, let's just go ahead and head out. I think our work here is done. I do want to go to the Digilab. I actually think we were supposed to go the other way. Um, I'll hold off on healing. I think I should be good. Let's see. So can these... Alright. Makes Digimon into even stronger versions. Okay. So... Digivolving brings them down to level 1, but raises their max level and abilities. Okay. There are also Digimon you can get by fusing two of them together. 
It'll make them weaker, but increase their max level and abilities. Okay, that's pretty cool. So... Alright, so we can't... Okay, so there are different conditions you can meet. And it looks like you can pick different paths. That's pretty cool. So let's see what we can do with this. Level 8 or higher. Okay. Coromon. Why not? See what happens. There we go, max level 13. Okay. So I have a feeling there's going to be a lot of grinding ahead of us. Now Coromon... ...can go... okay. Sorry, these names are so... ...like, not... ...intuitive that... ...it's hard to keep them... ...separate. Okay, so you can pick, also. I didn't realize even the question mark ones. Um, which one to, you know what, I, let's see what this is. Skip the animation. Nar, nar, narrow them on. Okay. So we got those. And I think that's the only ones we can do right now. Okay, well that's cool. Let's see what we got here. I wish it kind of showed you the difference between the scan rates. Again, just whether it, it is actually worth it to bring them up to 200%. This, I kind of want to go back you get those other ones to 200%. <clears throat> Which I might do. But for now, put this one in the party. I think we're good. Alright, I think we're good here. So I think that's going to do it for episode 4. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a like and consider subscribing. And I'll be back with episode 5 here very soon. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.